welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lazelle and today's video is actually in collaboration with the brand Opulent Lenses. I'm going to be showing you guys just a few of the lenses on my eyes because as you can see, I have very big dark brown eyes. They did actually reach out to me recently and ask me if I would be willing to try out their lenses, test them out and also show you guys what I think of them. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for embracing your natural eye color. I personally really do like the color of my eyes and how dark they are. I mean, they're almost like, they're pretty dark. They're almost black. <laughs> but in saying that, it's always fun to just test out different colors and see how they look. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. If you do find this video helpful or you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and also, Click the notification bell so you can get updated straight away whenever I post a new video. Like I said in the beginning, Opulent Lenses did reach out to me and ask me if I would be willing to test out and review their lenses. I want to be 100% open and honest with you guys. Yes, these were sent to me for free, but that does not affect my opinion and what I tell you guys. I am always 100 honest with you guys. I just want to be clear on that. So I have tested these, I have worn them, I've tried them on, all that, worn them out, that kind of thing to make sure that I am able to give you guys a proper review on them. Now I know there are so many different brands out there when it comes to colored contact lenses, but the reason why I was so willing to work with this brand in particular is because they are Australian owned and I'm definitely all for supporting Australian businesses. Plus they have really good customer service. They do actually do worldwide shipping, which is good. Plus after trying these on, I actually do see how good of a quality they are. And I feel like they look super natural on me. I feel like there are some colored contact lenses out there that when you put them on, it's just like, that's fake. But these to me are a little more on the natural side. And one thing that I did want to mention as well is that all these contact lenses are FDA approved. That's definitely something to be on the lookout for when you are buying cosmetic grade colored contact lenses is to make sure that they are FDA approved to ensure that they are safe to put into your eyes. So for this video, I do have three lenses to show you guys. This is actually their entire blends collection. We have sand, jade, and frosted gray. But before I get into that, I just wanna show you guys this. This right here is gonna be your best friend when it comes to putting colored contact lenses, any contact lenses for that matter in. This right here, like, I didn't realize how much I would need this till I received it because honestly, in the past when putting colored contact lenses in, I was always like, yeah, I'll just use my finger, like it's all good. But this right here is like an applicator set, I guess you could call it. So it comes with the tweezers with the really soft tip so it doesn't rip the lenses as you're trying to pull them out of the container. And then this is the applicator, which comes with like a little, how do I describe that on the end? It looks like a, like a plunger almost, but it fits perfectly for the lens to sit on top nicely so you can like pop it in your eye. But I'll, I'll show you how it looks in just a second. Just quickly though, I wanna show you guys how these are packaged. So basically they come in a box like so, and then when you open it up inside, we have the lenses which come in these little um, sachets. Obviously I've already opened them because I have worn these prior to. You are going to need your own solution though, but they do provide a case, which is nice. So yeah, there's the lenses in there. So that is basically what you receive in the box. Now that all that's out of the way, I'm gonna zoom you guys in nice and up close and personal so I can show you guys how they look when I am trying them on. So now that we are nice and up close, as you can see, my eye color is very, very dark. So that's really gonna put these contact lenses to the test and you can see just how nicely they blend in with my eye color because I mean, now that I'm looking at them, in the viewfinder, yeah, they look really dark. I feel like this lighting makes them look almost black. So this is the first color that I'm gonna be putting in today. This is called Sand, and as you can see, it does have that like golden sandy undertone to it. I feel like this one looks the most natural on me, so let me show you guys how I put it in. This is gonna look really weird on camera, and if you don't like seeing things like this, then you may wanna skip or fast forward, cause yeah, I'm about to put this on my eye. So the way that I like to do it is I just go in like so. So there it is in comparison to my natural eye color. This is sand. I just feel like if I were to have a different colored eye, 
then this is probably the color that I would have, like something lighter than my natural eye color. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know which pair you think suits me the best. I feel like this color does suit me the best. Yeah, I don't know, it just like makes me look a little more exotic, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me just put the other one in real quick. I'll show you how I do it again. So there we have it. This is how sand is looking on my eyes. I would have to say that, yeah, this is probably my favorite pair just because I wouldn't expect someone like me with such dark features to have blue or green eyes and this like kind of hazily sandy golden color is probably something that would suit me the best. Also, one thing that I just wanted to note is that as you can see, when I blink and when I move my eyes, around the lens stays in the right spot that it needs to stay in like i really cannot feel it on my eyeball right now which is so comforting because it doesn't feel like you have something stuck in your eye and yeah i can just wear these for hours because they're super comfortable just to show you how i would take these out taking the little soft tipped tweezers i just take those and pinch and we're back. All right, next color that I have to show you guys is called Gray Frost. As you can see, it is very much so lighter than my natural eye color. So I'm gonna put this in and show you guys. All right, so there we have it. There it is, side by side comparison of Gray Frost and my natural eye color, as you can see. It looks very different. The difference is insane. I honestly just can't stop looking in the viewfinder because I mean like look at this. Chrissy. As you can see it is a pretty big difference but it does a pretty good job of covering up my eye color underneath. You can see a little bit of it in the center but I feel like that looks more natural than like just straight up you know block of color. Imagine if I was born with like one eye this color and one eye my normal eye color. Like that's insane. The difference is crazy. Once again, super comfortable. I literally cannot feel anything on my eye right now. So what I'm gonna do is put the other one in and I'll show you how it looks. So this is how I look with gray frost. As you can see, completely opposite of my natural eye color. I feel like if I didn't have such dark features, then maybe I could pass these as my natural eye color, but because my hair and my brows are so dark, um, it definitely doesn't look like I was born with this as my eye color. But I do feel like they don't look too crazy. Like they're not bulging out of my eyes. They don't look too fake in my eye, if that makes sense, which is why I like these lenses so much. So this is the last color that I have to show you guys. This is called Jade. I would describe this as more of like a green undertone. So there it is side by side, Jade and my natural eye color. It actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like overly green to the point where it's like, that's fake. Cause if I just pull it and I move it over the whites of my eyes, sorry if this is making some of you queasy, but I'm trying to showcase the eye color right now. As you can see, it does have that like green undertone to it. But then when I put it on top of my actual eye, it changes it and it just blends nicely with my natural eye color, which is what I love. This is how Jade looks in both of my eyes. I guess this is how I'd look if I had hazel eyes because it's not too overly green and it really does blend nicely with my brown eye underneath it. It's funny because growing up, I always wished that I had like hazel colored eyes and now that I see it, how it looks, it's just, I don't know, it's crazy to me how different I would look if I was naturally born with this eye color. I just want to reiterate the fact that I love how natural these contact lenses look because it does really blend in with my natural eye color, especially being brown. It is difficult to get contact lenses to look good on brown eyes, in my opinion, because a lot of the time it looks really fake. But even with this pair, it just, I don't know, it just looks natural. It's crazy. I'm telling you guys, these tweezers, best thing when it comes to contact lenses. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys today. I want you to comment down below. Let me know which pair you liked on me the best. If you do 
want to check them out, I will leave a link to their website down below in the description box, as well as direct links to the pairs that I did showcase in this video. Also, if you do end up wanting to buy a pair for yourselves, Opulent Lenses were so nice enough to give me a discount code for my subscribers. So if you enter Lazelle10 at checkout, that will give you a discount. I do earn a little bit of a commission off that, so if you're not into that, that's cool. But um, yeah, if you wanna get a bit of a discount, I will leave all the details for everything down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the little red subscribe button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next video. Anything you want, just to put a smile on.